when it comes to putting a saddle on and he's tough and we yeah. thought we had him figured out we made a mistake by not just saddling him walking him down the we went the wrong way with him and it was just unfortunate but he that's the only time he's tough is put the saddle on him and um what we're going to do is um they were going to uh they're planning on leaving tomorrow for california mm -hmm. but uh being at the Preakness is uh, a few weeks away. Yeah. Um, I thought it might be a little bit too hard for him to uh, go back. And so we're, uh, I, I, I got an assistant trainer, uh, D. Wayne Lucas guy. He's gonna <laughs> deputize for me here. And uh, so we're going to, uh, he's gonna be in Wayne's barn. And I'm going to be here for the next couple of weeks with the sale, so we're going to keep here. So we'll just run him out of here to go to. If, if it's all, if he's working well and all going well, then he'll go to the Preakness. So I don't want to take him all the way to California and go to Del Mar, ship him up there. Sandy, and it's real hot right now. So we want to give him every opportunity to. So we'll take thousand words and they'll stay here with him and give thousand words another another chance at it. So. So, uh, so authentic will go to the Preakness and Thousand Words too, or uh, can you? Yeah, both, both of them. Both. both. Okay. We're, we're playing on both if they're doing well. Okay. You know, Thousand Words. Like I said, he didn't have a scratch on him. He just he fell on the side, so it wasn't uh, bad. It was unfortunate, but he just, he got mad. I mean, he's he's been tough. He, that's his his. Um, every time I've run him at Del Mar, he was pretty good. We saddle him on the walk. And he was good. We tried to saddle him in the box. We thought we had him. Uh, uh, we should have just saddled him going straight. I just felt horrible for the poor owners. It's crazy. That's crazy. That's the craziest 30 minutes I've ever had in racing. And I actually lost my footing. He sort of it was, he was coming around. I saw him coming around, and uh, and it was just it was crazy. But what happened is the he. This horse is just really keen. He's teed up all the time. And the, the girl in the roses this year, they had long ribbons on them. You got them? I'll show you those ribbons. So the exhibit A is right there. And those ribbons were wrapping around his hind feet. And it just, he just, it scared him. It scared him. And that's why he just whipped around and bowled us all down. And it's just crazy. But uh, he was, I couldn't believe how. I thought he'd be a little tired, you know, but he just, but the track was pretty good shape and it was fast and he got over it really well. And so uh, usually the, like in the May, the track sort of deeper, you know, and they struggle a little bit through it, but uh, he came out of it well. And then Jimmy, he's gonna need surgery. He, uh, he's gonna, I think he's gonna need eight screws in his wrist, broke his wrist. Uh, he left this morning, but he was in good spirits. Uh, he actually was here in the morning. I mean, he's a trooper. So, like we, we joke, he's earned his second Purple Heart with me. You know, he broke his pelvis. You know, it, it, it really, it, it, I was so emotional yesterday because I wanted him to be there and he worked so hard. And, um, but um, he, uh, he's just gonna go and have it uh, done at Scripps this week in uh, San Diego. And so we're, uh, but he'll be all right. And, and then the uh, one of the owners, he uh, he got stepped on to his ankle, so I don't know how bad he is. Yeah, it was a chaotic scene briefly there. Carnage was with, there was a lot of carnage <laughs> with the humans, but the horses were fine. <laughs> that, that, that's that's craziest. Every year, I, I, there's something goes crazy. I see something happen, and I never thought that would happen, but uh, but it was. Uh, at least the horse, it was a great horse race. I think Tizzle Log him a lot of respect. I mean, he turned for home, I thought. He's just gonna get us. And uh, Johnny V just waited. He said he just waited, waited, waited. And I told him, just wait. And uh, I said, he's got another gear. If you you get after him left-handed, he'll, he'll give you another gear. And I hope it's there. And, um, and he just took off with him again, so that was really, and he just, he went fast, you know, there was, you know, he was, but I saw 22-4, but um, it was just, 
exciting. I think the ones that you sort of don't expect to win are the most, you know, to me that was the most emotional derby I've ever been involved in because of what happened with all during that little time frame. And it was just something that you just learned them. They get hard, they're hard to win, you know, and um, especially, you know, before May, I think I was looking so strong, you know, it looked like, and everything just went wrong, you know, and so, and then to pull it off like that was really, um, really exciting, And but it's just, you know, the, you know, there's a lot of sacrifices we all have to make, and, and that's why we do it, because the moments, you know, winning the Kentucky Derby is, is the biggest moment in anybody's a trainer's life, and so, uh, when you win it, it just erases everything that's, that's gone bad, you know. And so, um, it was just fortunate. And um, I ran into Barkley Tag at the Starbucks right now, and such a nice man. And he was, he said, yeah, I thought I had you. <laughs> he was right there. But that horse ran a big race, and because it is the law, you know, he's, what a, what a horse. You know, it was just a, those were two really good horses, you know, coming down through there, and it was a, uh, I'm glad everybody had a, you know, everybody was no, no, nothing, no controversy at all. You know, it was just a good, solid horse race. And um, I just feel proud of my, my team, my staff, everybody that worked for me. We just work hard at it. And, and um, but uh, that's about it. So the horse will be here. He won't be in this barn. He'll be with Wayne Lucas. I'll leave my guys here and they're going to. So you went and visited Wayne this morning, just talking about the logistics of this, or did y'all uh, talk shop, or what did y'all talk about this morning? We talked strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Asked him if he could, if he, if you do it. Otherwise, leave him here. But he said he'd be welcome to, to help me out here, and uh, so they're going to go over there. He's got a lot of, you know, he's got some staff there, so I can leave one, you know, one guy here and give him the, his groom, and he's got the, everything else here that we got under control. And I'm going to be here in Kentucky for a couple of weeks, so for the at the horse sale. Mm -hmm. so. so then we'll figure out breeze them in a. Um, I don't know what I'm going to breeze them. We'll just. What about last night, Bob? After the race, uh, what did you do? Did you check up on Jimmy, or did you go out and celebrate? Yeah, we went. Thing? We went to we went to the hospital. Got Jimmy. Uh, we brought him back here. They uh, they put a uh, cast on, and we uh, and then we brought him here. And then he got, we had to go get his meds, and so he uh, got up this morning, and um, I talked to him this morning. So he's and today's his birthday, oh, poor guy. Wow. And uh, wish him a happy birthday. And so he's headed back, but he's he's, he's tough. Jimmy's tough, and uh, unfortunately he was. But he was so excited he was in the ambulance, and his wife was giving him the play-by-play -play on the. On his phone, so he was, he was so excited. I mean, he was just, you know, he said, "Oh, I'll be all right." You know, he's just, he was just, he was just so proud of the fact that we won it, and um, and he's just so competitive, and so it was, uh, you know. He told Jimmy he knew the doctor or something at the hospital, something. Like the doctor actually uh, was the um, he was one of the breeders of Midnight Loot. Do you know he his was, name? Or? I, I can't think of his name, but he was, um, it was, what happened, we had a uh, Shannon um, uh, from, from, um, oh, the TV, is it, wait, who does it, who's NBC here? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, Shannon, Shannon was with us, and uh, she called, she knew somebody there, and they called, they had to the doctor and they said he's going to need surgery and, you know and he couldn't do it here till about tuesday so he just went he went he'll get it done at scripts um this week so we have we know doctors there so. but he was he was in pretty good spirits for somebody that just had his arm broken and he just fell back on the, just landed on the bat and just, but he'll be all right all righty Congratulations, okay. Bob. Thank you, Bob. All right.